Oh yeah. Best Onan fix there is. Got me a tomato. Gonna make a BLT. Got a little bit of a leak at the base of this window. Just needs a little bit of caulking, I think. Camping out here with another semi. Uh, rolled in through here, just looking for a spot to park to go to my dentist, which is just across the street. And uh, rolled through, decided to camp out with him. Like, screw it, we'll just stay in here and just walk over to the dentist in the morning. Got a pretty nice view on this side. And I've got like three businesses around me. Two are... I mean, we're in a pretty slow area of the town, so it's kind of worked out. There's not too many people in the parking lot. One business is closed down, the other two are slightly busy. It's like four cars in there. But anyway, yeah, we'll just camp out here at the semi tonight and go to our dentist tomorrow morning and decide on where to work. I am contemplating South Base still and riding the bus still. I got on their website and it turns out I don't actually need a bus pass. I've never ridden the bus before other than like a field trip when I was really young didn't know I thought you had to have a pass but it's anywhere local is a dollar eighty so round up figure four dollars a day to go to work and back from the RV wherever that's at I think that'll be worth it so we'll just do that we'll just bring some cash with us used up all our change the other day put that in a gas so I'll have to scrounge that up somehow and and get back doing some temp agency work. Or South Base. I like the idea of going to South Base just to change the scenery. Also, if I do that, I'd like to save up as much money as I can while I'm there and keep heading south. I looked up on a fuel road trip calculator or something online. You can just punch in your 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 punch in your numbers so at if this is getting 10 miles to the gallon, which is probably the best it's getting on the freeway, maybe, at uh, 10 miles a gallon, 1,180 miles to get to Arizona or to Quartzsite, that area. Yeah, Quartzsite. Um, it'd be $310.18 somewhere in there. There's a $318, $318.10. 300 bucks to get to Arizona. I'm thinking that too. I'm wondering if I can start heading south to South Base, do some work, and then just keep going and try to find some warmer, drier, nicer weather. I like the rain, but last year I was plugged into the grid and had a heater going all day, keeping it cozy. Now it's cold, the batteries aren't getting charged. Ran the generator for like four hours yesterday, got them almost completely charged, probably like 90%. And they're just right back to where they were. It was probably like five bucks in gas. And I just, it's the solar panels in. We have everything we need except for some connectors. And we'll be getting those. Um, next week just in time for the sun to come back looked at the weather we got rain for another I don't know what was it four days or something yeah we got rain for another three days after today and we'll get back into the 60s partly cloudy the next day sunny partly cloudy sunny showers and then partly cloudy so the rain will let up soon 
So we might hold off for a couple of weeks on going to South Base and just work locally and try riding the bus since we just kind of figured that out. I even looked up the uh, system map, shows all the routes and the bus numbers and made it seem really simple. Forty in the morning. Got twenty minutes till I gotta walk over to my dentist appointment. Just got breakfast and shower out of the way. Brush my teeth really good. I got like four hours of sleep last night. Woke up twice. I'm not feeling as bad as I think I would though. Anyway, so I gotta kill another twenty minutes. Eight forty. Alright, just got back from the dentist appointment. No cavities except for one in the uh, far back mo uh, wisdom tooth that they've been trying to get me to pull for the longest time. Uh, not that the cavity is not new, that just kind of came up in the last two years since my last checkup, but they've been wanting me to pull them because they say I don't have enough room for them, and I'm like, no, I don't want my teeth pulled. It's freaky, but they say they do like a, a conscious sedation, so it sounds like get sedated and all right sounds like I won't care works for me because that shit freaks me out have the idea of having something removed from my face 
yanked out. I don't know. I kept asking him, like, is that a pretty massive undertaking, or they just pop it out? I wanted to hear that they would just pop it out. The so years, actually, since they're still coming in or something like that, because uh, one's got a cavity because it's not fully, it's not coming out of the gums, or they're still coming in or something like that. I, I just barely feel the top of it. The top is completely um, surfaced, but it's not come out all the way. So she says, since I can't get to it with the toothbrush, it's got a cavity. And just with that thought, okay, we'll pull it then. Uh, I need to go to a different place to have them pulled. And I'm going to come back here for cleaning. They said that it's pretty bad, the plaque. They're going to do it in four different uh, sessions, 30-minute sessions. Do each. They're gonna, they call them quadrants. They're going to do each quadrant in four 30-minute sessions in December. So I got some time for that. But I do, in the meantime... She said to wait a week and then call this other dentistry place for the tooth pulling. It's like a dentist surgeon's office or something like that. They don't do that here. Oh, that's good feeling, getting that out of the way and knowing what's happening in my mouth. I didn't think I had any cavities. I don't... I've never been... I mean, I have a... Oh, that's another thing. I do have a feeling from like a long time ago. And she said something about that becoming separated. And the cavity could start in there, so they're going to redo it, one of my silver fillings. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a process. Now, it's, what do I do? Uh, I think I'm going to hunker down, catch up on sleep, since I only got four hours of sleep last night. Letting the truck warm up right now. And I think I'll go back to my secret location. Since that seems to be a pretty good spot for not being bothered. I can stay put for a long period and not burn gas since I'm broke. And, and uh, I think there's a bus stop right there somewhere. So I can even just go hit up the bus stop from that secret spot and go to work. going to do the other temp agency since they don't really do long-term assignments like the other places have been doing that's what gets to me is like I can if I could just work each day I feel like working bam easy but this other company they like to give me week-long assignments and it's like I get so far behind on sleep and no I'm just gonna try I'm gonna try riding the bus I keep talking about it I really want to do it now I'm gonna ride the bus I'm gonna ride the bus and it's gonna be great it's 1030 Oh, I'm tired. So anyway, we're going to head to our secret location, get caught up on some sleep, get this video edited, got a bit of footage to catch up on, and we're just going to take it easy and get to work. We'll do some work vlogs. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Have a good day.